This is Jason Krumholz from URI and the Reef Ball Foundation. He's going to give us a quick overview of the steps that we've gone through here today in making the reef balls. So, thanks very much. So what we did today, uh, we set up the molds from scratch where there are two part molds uh, and each section of the mold is held down with a plate that's attached through the base. We place the molds in place. We want to make sure that we have a good amount of sugar water along the inside of that mold. The sugar water is the releasing agent. That helps us get the mold back off so we don't have to use a crowbar to separate it uh, once the cement has dried. Once we do that, we can attach the two halves of the mold together and that's accomplished with steel pins that are held together with washers and metal wedges. Once that's in place, we add some, a layer of sand on the bottom. A layer of sand on the bottom helps the ball to anchor itself and stay steady when it's in the water. It also helps us to get the ball off the plywood and help keeps, helps keep our plywood in good condition. Then we place our center bladders in place. The center bladders are polyform buoys. We fill them most of the way with air and then we place uh, small rubber balls around the outside. Those create the characteristic shape of the reef ball, the holes that go through the side to allow creatures access to the center. It creates more void space, which means more habitat for fish, more habitat for crabs and for oysters. So once we've got our balls in place and our center bladder nicely adjusted so that we have a nice even amount of cement that will fill the ball through all the sides, we mix our cement. We use a special cement that is pH balanced to encourage settlement of marine organisms. And we also add uh, some microsilicate and some fiberglass fibers which give it extra strength and extra hardness. We want the concrete to be as hard as possible for as little weight as possible. Once we've got it all mixed up right, we pack it into the molds, make sure it's settled down right, and we leave the molds for about eight hours, and then we will reverse the process, peel those molds off, and we'll have beautiful reef balls. Thank you, Jason. It's been an incredibly educational day.